Hello everybody and welcome back to the Limit of Adhesion. We are at our series finale at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I am Jake. Once again joining me is Jason. How are you? Very well, thanks. How are you? A little warm, just like the track temperature. 120 <laughs> degrees. It is hot. Two and a half mile rectangular track. It actually has four corners. Great. Coming into tonight's no surprise that Nick Leo is on top. John Novak is in second. Third is Jake Weaver. Fourth is Steve Ange. Jason Weaver fifth. Steve Escoffier is sixth. Key schooling seventh. Chris White eighth. In ninth, we have Aaron Jenkins. Tenth is Jake Vanoski. Jack Unamaker eleventh. Juan Escamilla twelfth. Carmine De Stefano thirteenth. And we have Anthony McEvely and Briar Messer rounding up your top fifteen. Underneath that, we have Troy Ketzer in 16th, Mike Dow 17th, Scott Baker 18th, Stephen Kernick 19th, Daryl Clocks 20th, 21st is Pruis, 22nd is Benefield, Winslade 23rd, Garcia 24th, Curtis 25th, Ben Popke 26th, and Sean Derryman is in 27th. Long list of guys. Yeah. A lot of in and out drivers. Yep. Pace truck is rolling. The cars are following. And Daryl Klotz starting inside row number one with Nick Leo. Row two, Jake Weaver, Steve Inch. Row number three, we have Jason Weaver starting inside of Chris White. Garrett Winslade and Keith John Novak in row number five alongside Brian Messer. Jack Newmacher all by himself there in row six. Good to see Daryl and Messer back. Yes, it's nice to have them both back. Brian's been away for a long time. Yes, you may remember hardware issues at Atlanta. Right. Should be an interesting race. Flat track. Hot track. Very hot track. You see these guys who keep the cars underneath them. Anybody has anything for Nick Leo this week? Well, we have a new pole center. That's true. Drivers are going to group themselves up as the pace truck hits pit lane. The field is in Klotz's hands. He waits and the green flag flies. We're off racing it. Okay. Clean start for Daryl. Oh! Almost was it. Almost was it. Oh, little slideways going through turn one. <laughs> yeah. May have helped him out, though, so it looks like the rest of the field checked up for him, and now he's got a that gap. Could very well happen that way, yes. Nick Leo is going to clear Jake Weaver while he needs to turn three. He does have uh, slots in behind him. Four, anyways, have uh, settled in. Yeah, it looks like everybody's pretty much single file all the way back to uh, Novak and Messer. Oh, Leo's looking on the inside of Claude's here. Didn't take him long. Nope. It's going to get the run out of turn two. Might open up the door for the 27. Doesn't look like he's going to take it. No 
Everyone in those, but it's not up, not 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 up far enough. But Aaron just riding comfortably in his new livery for this race. Take a look further back. Messer and Novak are nose to tail. They've been separated for a while, but they're back at it. Oh, schooling getting a little loose on the short shoe. Really high line for Chris White there. Just gonna say that. School know, how long is it going to go? Just say school and made the save and carried, kept some of his momentum. Not much is changed in front here. So Daryl might be. Close to the gap on Leon. We were to the inside of Daryl. Oh, they're getting really close to that wall. Contact oh, there. Oh, Daryl's in the wall. Oh, cross is right in front of the 86. <laughs> He's got a broken right front. Yep, that's gonna. Be no caution. Gonna go to pit road right here, yeah. Keeps it rolling. Yeah, Novak and Messer have caught up to Winslow here. Yeah, and it looks like they're both gonna get around him. Really? Don't raise down the front stretch. Ryan slots back in behind Gareth. Man, Gareth carried a lot of speed into that corner and held it. Looks like the 54 got the run he was looking for. Well, had the run he was looking for. Camera angles and such. down here he's still in the pits must be trying to get the repairs done saving his quick repair for later if he needs it he hasn't even made it in the box yet it doesn't appear to be pits now Small, in his box now. There's a small gap from P1 to P2. Daryl's not taking his quick repair. He's going to go another lap down here. I feel comfortable enough taking it this early. Brian's got to run now. Same spot, actually. Going for the same move. This time he gets it to stick. I was going to say. It's going to get right. Look, Chris is really liking that high line. As I say, thing, he moves down to the bottom. <laughs> One thing I can say about this is uh, 
There's only about an eight-second gap or eight-second, yeah, difference between uh, the leader and the last car in the lead lap of Neumacher. Yeah, normally there's an eight-second gap between first and second. <laughs> With Nick's <laughs> out front, yeah. Yeah. And Novak and Messer have both caught the 86 of Jason Weaver as the 27 of Jake Weaver has closed the gap on Leo. Yeah, and just lost a little bit. I don't know I say lost a little bit, but lost a, bit, a little bit of ground on the 27 anyways. Jake has lost a little bit of time to Nick there. Yeah. Well, these 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 corners are tricky. Oh, they sure are. Oh, and Messer's gotten around Novak. Yeah. If you, if you don't, you gotta you absolutely have to nail your apexes and your exits here. You gotta be very consistent. Yeah, and you can't touch that curb. No, and that's to... the Ange gets a little wiggly in the background there, but, but yeah, you gotta get as close to the white line as possible without touching that curb. There's a wiggle line again. He's losing time too. Yeah. Keeps getting loose heats up that, those rears and unless you can cool them off it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. 27 looking to the inside of Nick Leo here. I don't think he's going to get the run. He might be able to get this run out. Doesn't look like he's going to do anything going down the street. They're going on the inside of 86 adjacent. Different car for him this week. Whoa. Yeah. Looks like he got a little tail happy. Yeah. The 54. And then the 86. The 86, yeah. And, and smoke coming off those tires as he was doing that. leaders are still pulling away from Ange. They are now almost two seconds ahead of P3. They are, just as we left them. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, Nick getting a little loose going through the short shoot. That's going to open the door for Jake Weaver. And it looks like he left it wide open. It's a short, short, short shoot between one and two. Well, we've seen him in the past. Leo definitely has pace, so I, uh, if I were the 27, I wouldn't be celebrating just yet. Oh, I wouldn't be celebrating anything. You're only going to win lap 12. Well, even that, you don't even know if you're going to win lap 12. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Here's that early incident between we were and Clots. Hit that wall twice hard. Getting it wrong a little bit. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, that was tough. I don't know if that was... It looked like on that uh, early incident between 27 and uh, the 14, it was... Uh, like the 14 might have been a little loose and the 27 pushed a little bit. I don't know. It looked... Either way, I just... Recent incident. Just unfortunate for Daryl. And knocking on the door to P3 is now Brian Messer. Yeah. He's looking good for his first race back here in a while. Sure is. Here comes Novak as well. Another bobble out of the seven. Yeah, he looks gonna be fighting that car. That's gonna make a long, long race, or at least a long run till we can get into the pits. Maybe he can make an adjustment. But that thing does look look hard to control almost every lap. Yeah, and pit window opens at lap 21, so it's, it's he's got a while to go. If you give us 30 seconds, we will be right back. Head for the mountains. I'm sure he's going to have some... Uh, oh, oh, engine. engine. Okay. Yeah. He's got to scare, scare uh, Novak a little bit. Here he's going to make the pass. I don't know if... Master got a little loose in front, or just trying to break draft. Ooh, Brian looks like he love tapped the wall there. He's four have regrouped. Yeah. Say the Jason Weaver lost a little bit of time when he slipped up there, but he seems to have caught Master Novak again. As he runs wide. Boy, Steve Ange looks like he is having a terrible time with that car. Yeah. One of the characteristics of this track, I will say, is when you're in traffic here, the car gets very, very tight. There's a lot yes. of arrow push, and it's it's across all cars too, not just these ones. Yeah. So you kind of got to make the car loose when you're building the setup throughout the week. That way, when you are in traffic, it handles better. But I think uh, you went might have gone a little bit too extreme coming into this one. And it's also a lot hotter than it has been throughout practicing. So. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, you said earlier, it's 120 degrees. This aerial shot of our current P4 driver, John Novak. Gets his tires all the way down to that white line and comes back out. He's safe there. You just hit that that white strip, that concrete strip on that on that curb, and he that just 
upsets the car horribly. It's not a big bump either. It just, I, it just. Just really messes up with the car. Oh, Andrew's going sideways. Yeah. This looks like Messer did too coming off. Inside back out on the track. And just showing off his skillful rally racing skills going through there. Skillful skills. A little redundant, but it works. Messer into the wall. Again. He bounces again. He keeps. Sure does look like he keeps bouncing off it. The, the 86 bounced off the wall in the background there, too. Looks like it's going to make a pass on the outside, maybe. Gets a heck of a run. He's going to make the crossover move work. What a pass. to our leader he is kind of rolls of reversed here somebody's putting a gap on Leo yeah So far, whatever the 27 did to uh, prepare for this race is definitely working. Winslade's in trouble. He's going to hold on. He doesn't, but... Oh, look, he bounced off the wall there. Got him straightened back out. Does look like he's got some uh, broken suspension, though. Yeah, the right front tire looks like it's wobbling. Chris White and Jack Nunemacher are still together. Swap positions, though. Unfortunately, Winslane's going to have to use his crook repair. Yep, and he's under the now. So, no back. Unless they're also back together. Well, good news for uh, Nunemacher this week. He didn't have to rush to make this race. Yeah. Got uh, 
didn't have to try to leave work early this time. Oh no! Oh, oh Gareth! Oh Gareth! Oh, hard hit! And down pit lane. Now he will be able to make it on fuel from here. Um, I'm assuming he's going to take tire schooling is joining him and probably going to try to tighten that car up. I, I think so. I, if I, I, I'm sure that, t that Steve's going to try and get that car tightened up. Schooling might be having handling issues too. We might have to do something with that. It's quite possible. Pit window did open on 21. 21 to 35, 36, somewhere in there, so. Ange is going to blend back in traffic behind the 27. Maybe in front of the 69, we'll see. Oh, five second lead for Jake Weaver. That's... That's not something that's, that's, uh, Nick Leo is used to seeing somebody out front of him. No, at least not that far ahead. Weaver's got to be feeling good. I don't know if he's... He's let a green flag lap. He's let a few here, but he has let a um, green flag lap since Daytona, maybe? Oh, possibly. And he only led one there, and it was the last one, so. Yeah, that, yeah. I know he's got some laps led, but they might be under caution. is catching up to Leo. Yeah, we had a, a Brian and John both started in the back. With only uh, Neunmacher behind them, so this is impressive for them. They always Again, synergize I mean, with each other well. Yeah. They typically carve through traffic together as well. Looks like Brian got a little little loose there. Yeah. But I'm sure everybody's just a little loose. <laughs> yeah. Jason Weaver down pit lane for his stop. Should see the rest of the field come soon. Just hit the outside wall on Pit Road. I don't know what the heck was all about. Whoa. Oh! Hard in the outside wall. I don't know if he can. He keeps it rolling. Doesn't look. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to bring out a caution. Sure, he wasn't expecting that. I mean, that car looked pretty stable for the most part every time we've seen it. Yeah. And uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is the first incident he's been involved in. Mm, yeah, I'm thinking you're right. Oh. I mean, other, other than a few uh, off tracks at Road America. I think everybody went off track at Road America. For yeah, I know, but I'm just, I just, uh, 
I don't. You don't see him screw up that much. No. Or I mean, uh, I'm, you don't see him screw up. No, Chris White making. Oh, he missed his stuff. box too. He had to back up. Leo did. Off. Oh. oh, that's why the 86 had to come in. It yeah. came in a little before halfway, twine left. There's Nick's. Yeah. It wasn't a scheduled stop. No, not for the 86, it didn't appear to be. Must have just getting through there. Yeah, Leo's doing. I was watching his wheels. He was doing everything he can to get that thing straightened back out. Here comes Steve Ange, the man who started the pit cycle, so he should be net leader. Novak down pit road. Ooh, I'm in the wall again. And there's a difference between fresh and old tires right there. Yeah. Like Novak's taking four. I can't imagine anybody taking, well, it's possible, I guess, a late race, but it just. It's that bump of the in the pit lane that'll throw oh, you that, around. Oh, that's horrible. I'm getting oh, down pit road. Oh! Trying to get everything he can out of his pit stop and just yeah. locks him up and slides into the barrier. Must have got it slowed down enough because even if he was sliding, hit the barrier at, uh, uh, over pit road speed. Yeah, we'll have to see if he has to re-enter. But I think an entry. It's a uh, it's a it's a, oh, hold, it's a hold, isn't it? Yep. So, we are recruiting, is that, is that Daryl Klotz going down pit road again? Daryl Klotz it making is. his stop. Yeah. For season two? Season two. Available spots. Lots of them. We yeah, do. Don't be Back bashful. Yes, they are, season two we are recruiting. Uh, as as you guys have seen every other Saturday. Um, yep. Class D is up. Down. Here comes Weaver. Here comes Weaver. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. He, the leader, he's got... Oh. Oh. That almost cost him the race. It could have cost him the race. Almost. You're going to see that again here quick. Almost like a Novak. Oh. 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 Get almost very close to that cone. Down. Yeah. If you touch that cone, that's an unsafe pin entry. That was, whew, he got very, 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 very lucky there, I would think. Very lucky, very sideways. It's our current leader before his stop, and Brian gets into the wall again. Trying to get everything he can out of his tires and fuel tank. Yeah. You can stay out. Again, if a caution comes out, he's he's good. Because everybody has stopped and he has not. 
Yeah, and I would assume half of them, half of the ones that have stopped are, would take their second set of tires at this point. I would think so. White getting a little wiggly in the background there. I mean, we have gone green this whole time, so there would be, I would, you would expect that if there was a caution, some years here that it would, it would. That was weird. We'd have another. Back up into traffic, right in front of Note well, and right in front of them, but. Here's Novak. So, even with both of their mistakes, I think the 27 lost more time than he wanted to. Oh, yes, that, that's definitely true. Because they should have come out. They further were, away than that, but... They were about five seconds apart when the cycle started. It's, uh... Yeah, and Jake Weaver made one more lap than John before he stopped, so... He didn't lose any time with John's first tires. Not that much time. Messer still has yet to pit. He's got to be on fumes by now. Current leader? Actually, projected leader. I'm sorry. Projected leader after Messer pits. Six seconds back to uh, third and fourth. Weaver and Novak. Yeah. Steve made Steve Steve's yeah, tires are a little bit hold. It did, and hopefully he, he made the adjustment on that car where it's going to handle better for him. We'll have to wait and see. But right, right. He had to stop early to make that adjustment. But yeah. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't guess he was going for the undercut because the undercut. Hmm, it only work. I mean, all pit strategies have certain windows where they're better than the other strategy, and I think, I think Ange is almost out of his window. If he were to get a caution now, I even think it might still be late, too late. Track, track position, he would lose out. He would lose out because his oh, because he would have old. to come in. He would have to come in, right? And some of these guys might stay out because they just got them. Obviously, Brian would come in. He's coming in now. But I'm also sure that some of the guys in the back would come out and get their tires. I, I think I would think that everybody, even with 23 laps to go, everybody would still come in and get tires. Weaver and Novak are five seconds behind and closing fast. But, like we were saying, if Ange wanted that car to stay in one piece, he didn't have a choice. He had to stop. Oh, yeah. It does look better. It does seem to be uh... a little more stable. Yeah, it does. It, it, yeah. So be much gained here. No, I think both of them are, uh, I mean, it's, the way this race has gone, I think both of them are just in cruise, cruise mode, I would think, yeah. yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, we're speculating, but... Let's 
still got a lot of laps left. Right. And Ange is still in sight, so. Down a 3.3. So these two are gaining on inch. Yeah. So it's very easy to burn up your equipment here. I think it's because of um, the low degree of banking. I think that's really what hits most drivers. Yeah, it's only nine degrees in the turns. Messer and a ticker. Oh, he's flirting with that concrete apron. Well, Messer stayed on the lead lap. Even with staying out that long, being that far off pace, he stayed on the lead lap. I, didn't even, I mean, I know I saw him go in the pits. I didn't even look. Look at his time. It's an 18 second stop. Oh. He was in the box for 18 seconds? Yep. Wow, that's a long stop. It is. But he did hit the wall. He did hit the wall a few times. Whoa, look at him, Steve. Well, he must have missed his box or something. I don't know what it would have taken. 18 seconds is only three and a half seconds or four and a half seconds. Well, when he stopped, he was almost touching the inside wall, so changing left sides may have been quite difficult for his crew. Uh, yep, I think Steve is going to lose his advantage here. Tires are a touch older. They're going to drag race down the back stretch. Yeah, as you say, Weaver gets out of there clean, but Novak's going to be slowing yeah. up a little. And that might compromise his exit out of this uh, turn three. Nope, he's going to get through there all right. Yeah, I think Ange, it looked like Ange uh, gave him a little extra space. That was a big hard hit on the outside wall. One turn oh. after Novak made it through. Oh my gosh. Both, and that's going to bring out the yellow. Yeah. They both, both left and right in the front are broke. Yeah, I mean, he can't do anything. He has to tow, but he, he couldn't get off the track, so that will bring out our first caution. And I expect everybody to come down pit road. Yeah, I mean, everybody that has tires, everybody that has tires. Maybe not Messer, but may, maybe even still. Because they're less than, less than 10 laps old, so. We'll see what he does. Field still trying to catch the pace car. <laughs> yeah. Well, it did happen on the front stretch, so. Have to go uh, all and, the way back and, around. And, 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 and there it is right there. Oh, okay, so the guys are going to catch up. That's the thing about the yellows is you got to get, especially these bigger tracks. Yeah, you, you got to catch, catch that pace car. You, you have to catch that pace car. You got to do it as quick as you can because if you don't, um, well, if you can, you can gain spots on the pits by having faster stops than the guys in front of you. 
Yeah, and you, you know, you, you gotta be. Yeah. Sportsmanship. And get there as quick as you can because the guys behind you can't pass you. Right. Otherwise, they'll get a black flag. So, you gotta be courteous to the guys behind you as well to get there. So, yep. You don't screw them over. Yeah. Here comes everybody. You're right. Messer stayed out. Oh, there he is. Who was it that stayed out? Was that it was a black car I thought stayed out? The only other black car would be white. There's three cars. Huh. My eyes deceiving me. Was it Daryl? Oh! It could have been Daryl. Yes. Because he can't come so, down pit lane. Right. He's a few laps down. Novak's rolling, and so is Weaver. And Leo's gonna There's get the. Yeah, goes to Leo. That was Leo Messer Weaver. Yep. They're watching that. I didn't even see the times. Wins later with 15 seconds stop. Schooling 16 seconds. Cars lap down. 16 for Nunemacher. Pretty much tire changes right there. Yes. And availability. I mean, the world division is pretty large, but they're always looking for new guys. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, GT3s, F3s, and we just opened up, or they just opened up, a European time zone friendly rally. League. Right. And we also have our. ARCA quote unquote development series. Good mixture of pros and newbies. Yep, and that's basically designed for. Let's so look at Steve's incident here. You know, this almost looks like Winslade incident, except it was. Uh, Gareth went back out and hit the outside wall, or Steve hit the inside wall. After the initial contact. Sounded like he tried to get it going again, not knowing how much damage he had there. Yeah. Well, the rack's back up. That was quick. Yeah, the lights are out. Before we go green, uh, Arca series, development series, it's designed to help new people. Uh, new, new, yeah, new oval drivers or new, new people to the series or the, uh, service, I'm sorry. Uh, it's, uh, you have to pay for the Arca car, but all the tracks on the schedule are free. And, and if you're into ovals, Arca car, the Arca car is something you're gonna, you're gonna probably want to have anyways. Pace track is off. Weaver goes. Leo goes with him. It's very reminiscent of the first lap. The leader took off, and the second, third place car got stuck side by side. Yeah, it was close for no lap. Somebody went wide there. I think it was Chris White. 
Novak's going to lose his spot to Leo and possibly... Yeah, Leslie. Brian's looking. He's got the preferred spot. As long as John doesn't pinch him low. He's going to slide he's right up in between the two of them. Clean pass. And he's going to continue the charge, it looks like. The 54 has momentum. Yeah. Like Jack making his way back down pit lane. Yep, you are correct. Jake Weaver first, Nick Leo second, Brian Messers in third, uh, John Novak fourth, Jason Weaver fifth, and knocking on the door is Winslade in P6. Top four are grouped up tightly. And then the next four are grouped up tightly. Well, I would assume that these drivers have been in saving mode the majority of this race, but now they're in go mode with 12 to yeah, go. Yeah, 12 to go. And there's still a lot of laps. I mean, there's a lot of miles right there. It's 36 miles they still have to go, so. Alright, he's going to get to the inside. Oh, that's... Oof. Oh, we got... Oh, yeah. There it is. It started back when he did touch that apron, and he was... He was he gathered it up, but... And honestly, that could have gone far worse than it did. Oh, oh, yeah. That was a nice save by Brian Messer right there, I'll tell you. Yeah, it doesn't look... It doesn't look like much on the screen but that that car was all sorts of upset still flirting with that curve it's making it work oh Ooh. I don't know if Novak hit the wall or if he just got a little uh, turn, turned left off it because it looked like he was headed for it. And Brian, I think Brian really wants that spot. Right, yeah. Flash and those again. Novak, big run into the whoa. corner. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I've noticed that about John this whole race that he's got the he uh, he can get in there good, but coming off he's a little. Messer's giving him a push. It does look like a bump draft, but the grandstand's got in the way there. Oh. Uh, it must oh, have been too a... much. <sighs> that time he hit the grass and still kept it pointed straight. Oh wow! I was watching what was going on in the back. I thought Keith Schooling he lost. He lost. Yeah. Still trying to gather it. Yeah, he's heat, he's heated those tires up. He's got to cool them off. Impressive wheel work, honestly. Oh yeah, I, would, I yes, hundred percent agree with that. Oh, Messer's in the wall. He just clobbered it pretty good. It's 
cooling down pit lane. So I thought I thought I saw something going on when you when you said. Oh, both cars were going on exit. I just <laughs> every time I watch them come out of that corner, I'm holding my breath. Um, when you said Brian hit the grass, I was looking. That's why I was looking at Keith in the background, but it looked like he was sideways. Weaver just can't get away. Not this time. And John just can't get that pass done. Is Messer going to make it pass on Jason Weaver here? Maybe not this one. I was expecting to see something move there. Oh, Winslade. Oh, uh, Winslade, yep. Brian is on the inside of Jason Weaver. Oh, somebody's, oh, somebody's way there. out of shape. That would have been Messer. Oh, Ew. very close. It's going to keep it going, and that's not going to bring in, in Nick Leo. Lead. Yep. Novak, Novak, no place to go. Pick a lane. Who am I going to push? <laughs> the 27 got the run off the corner. Novak's going to pick up second spot. Wow, Nick Leo lost all his momentum there on that pass. We're trying to make that pass. I know that was a big part of it, but I don't know if the 27 had help from the 85 or not. I couldn't quite tell. I'll tell you, the draft is something here, and I'm sure it helps with speed, but it doesn't seem to work. It doesn't. Like it, it that's the plate tracks. Right. It doesn't work. It's a lot weaker. Or it's not as strong as you would expect it to be. Yeah, as long as these straightaways are, I, you would think it would be more, but it, uh, it just doesn't, it doesn't, the cars in the back can't suck up like they do with the plate tracks, and Novak is trying to look into the inside, he's got a quarter, can't keep it there. But I'm sure the draft helps with mileage. Yeah, I'm, yeah, fuel mileage for sure, it's just... It's just so odd that straightaway drag oh, is like getting Chris. it wrong. He's going to keep it pointed forward at a fairly high rate of speed. I'll bet you he was is, is, uh, Definitely holding his breath the there trying though. to catch it. Yeah. Yeah. Keeps looking at the inside, but 27 keeps opening the door for him, so. Like Leo is going to give John a shove. This is getting a little exciting here. Yeah, this Leo is looking to take back P2. In the same fashion that he lost it, really. Novak went for a pass and. Still side by side enough going into turn three here. This is just letting a 27 walk away. And it's exactly what he wants to see. Keep battling, yep. boys. Yep. Lap traffic ahead. These two better get that battle over with soon. Otherwise, one of them is going to get stuck. John looked like he was going to hope for a crossover. Now, Nick's been running... Running a little high through the corners most of the race, like right there. That, and I think that's what maybe Novak was expecting. It didn't work for him there. It's going to just pull out of the way, but I think we're going to run out of front backstretch. 
I don't know, Nick's driving right in there really hard, and that's what's keeping him up off the bottom, or if that's just the line he prefers. He's been doing it all race. And we've seen uh, Novak, he just has so much speed going into the corner. It's like he's got pace in one and three, but then he can't get the exit out of two and four. Novak. Yes. Yeah, that's what I was saying. He's got so much speed in, in going into the, well, yeah, in, into the corner. Because, uh. Might be putting it in there a little too hard and not getting the exits on the short shoots. And I can't say anything because he has gone from uh, the back of the pack Schooling up off to the, the front. Track. White flag. There. Klotz is pulling off the track. Olvac's got two more corners, but mistakes pending. I don't think the 27 has to worry. No, and I don't think I don't think uh, unless, like you said, mistakes pending. John can get. He's he's. He has got him gapped a bit too much. I think. Well, he hasn't done it since round one at Daytona. Yes, he gets the first and the last. But he gets the first and the last to break the dry spell. And the Very cool. Streak. Right. Congratulations, Jake. And congratulations, Nick. Yeah, I don't think we have to wait for the calculations. I think, uh, I think yeah. it's pretty... Set in stone. Yeah, it's pretty locked up before we even came into this race. Nick Leo being our season one champion. Very cool to see. Yeah, and I, I know I've said it before, but lots of strong cars tonight. The top five. Mm -hmm. uh, even, even Messer, who didn't make the top five with his incident, he. Uh, oh, yeah. Strong cars here tonight. Even, even, even most of the way through the beginning of the race, I'd say into the first third, maybe even half. That well, most of the cars were all right there. Bring it down. Probably feels pretty good. Probably. Whoop. Well, the season's over, so we don't have to take the car anywhere else this year. Right. <laughs> There's a champion. Champion. Taking out. Taking the out the cones. So, yep. If you uh, want to come race with us, just come race with us. Join the uh, Discord description below. Like road racing, go see those guys. That 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 link is in uh, is below as well. Good group of guys all around. Yep. Never been in the league. I think this is a good one to be in. From aliens to noobs, we have them all. Drivers are all skill levels. Just come check us out. I think you'll enjoy it.
Jake Weaver is your winner. Nick Leo second. John Novak third. Jason Weaver came home in fourth. Gareth Winslet. Excuse me. Gareth Winslet came home P5. Chris White sixth. C Van seventh. Jack Nunemacher eighth. Keith Schooling and Daryl Klutz. Dipping it in the pit lane to let the leaders duke it out. There are ninth and tenth. And Brian Messer. An unfortunate night for him. Nick Leo is your champion. John Novak second. Jake Weaver third. Steve Bench fourth. Jason Weaver came in fifth. Key schooling sixth, seventh with Chris White. Eighth, Steve Scoffier. Aaron Jenkins got ninth. Lunamacher tenth. Manoski eleventh. Juan Ascamia twelfth. Carmine Stefano made his way up to thirteenth. Anthony McAvoy fourteenth. Brian Messer fifteenth. Daryl Klotz up four to sixteenth. Winslade up six to seventeenth. Troy Ketzer eighteenth. And we are waiting for the rest of the results to scroll up. Mike Dow 19th, Scott Baker 20th, Stephen Kernick 21st, 22nd, Gavin Cruz 23rd, Craig Benefield 24th, Anna Garcia 25th, Brandon Curtis, Ben Pop 26th, 27th with Deshaun Berryman. Thanks everybody for watching. Sticking with us all season. Yeah. All our fans. <laughs> All our friends, family, and everybody right. behind the scenes to make this stuff happen. That's right. On behalf of the other way, I would like to say thanks for sticking with us this season, and we hope to see you in season two. Goodbye. Yeah,